On our way to pick up a box for the 180s. Transmission, tail shaft to go with it, slave cylinder, got the centerpiece. Just mounting up the box now. This is what the engine and the box is going in. Inside's completely stripped, minus dashboard. Battery's been relocated to the boot. Might have to clean that up a bit. <laughs> Just yeah. moving it to the shed. Just got it inside. Just taking out the old loom. We got a new loom when we bought the, the new engine. So we're gonna take the old loom out, put the new loom in. Making progress, all hooking up the loom. Dodging up some wires for the gearbox. Just finalizing up the loom, nearly finished there. Once we finish that up, we can put the engine inside, start putting everything together. Here's that new slave cylinder we picked up today as well. See how that goes once it's all in. Not spending much on this build, just a budget build. Here's the box we picked up today. Put it mounted up. Replace the power steering pulley. Doing the connector for the gearbox. Where's he? Hard at Mahi. I'm just being bartended. Hard at Mahi, bro. Yeah, we're just about to drop the engine in. Just like that, like that. The engine mounted in. Put the fuel pump in now. Just putting the fuel lines in. Just gonna do a compression test, see what we're running. <laughs> Bro, what the? Checking the second one now. Oh, hell no. Our theory is is that this thing is lying to us. We're gonna come back in the morning with Jersey's on. We'll see if that reads a more accurate reading. Just hooking up the radio and heading out to go pick up a set of wheels. Store. Just picked up some of the rooms. We're going to Masters we got a stock exhaust for S13. Radiator, stock radiator. Just picked up some crimps so we can do the wiring harness, sold it back together. Oh. Everything else is a bit dodgy, so just want to clean it up. Let's get some food. Lunch Got two radiators, an exhaust for this, some spark plugs, some oils, crimps, terminal kit. We bring Jizzy's compression tester. Maybe it'll give us a worse reading. <laughs> We're going for second cylinder. Yep. They're all on 225, eh? Yep. Just connecting up the fuel. We're gonna try to start the engine, see how she goes.
fuel comes up. Nah, nothing. Nothing at all. Putting on the new wheels. Put some XXRs. <laughs> what? Alright, mate. <laughs> Locks with his gumboots around here. She ain't going nowhere. She's rolling straight off, man. Yeah, we're changing over from the XXRs. She's looking good so far. I'm hungry, man. Candy paint. New wheels come out nice. Just jacked up the car, put jack stands underneath. Gonna put the tail shaft in and connect it all up. Give me a shogun. Young shogun, AV. Baby. Oh, wow. Where's part of that? Huh? Die, baby, die. Bush, I'm just gonna move bush mechanics. You know, bro, just the bush mechanics. No, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a cinch around here, guys. Rewire the loom. Just unplugging the ECU. I'm gonna take the loom out and rewire it with the new one. <laughs> Gluing the whole loom. Gonna put it up there and solder. Solder! Whoa. Just soldering up the wires. Just a good solder. Come on, Jack. Just a uh, speed screen. Oh, it's okay. Make this stuff shrink, bro. First start off, ready. Ready. Give us a dose, give us a dose. Jules man thinks that these two looms are possibly different looms because we've got different colour wires coming. So we decided to soldier on anyway. Solder on. Yeah. Mm. Connected up the radiator. Mm, fake guitarist trying to be a guitarist. <laughs> Gonna have those midnight snacks. Have the musician. Cooking up a feed. Some butter chicken, eh? Forgot the mix. Uh, Wooly is picking up some butter chicken. Plastics, uh, cookies and bring. Some cookies and bring. We picked up some butter chicken mix because we threw out the other butter chicken the, to the shops. Boy's still working on the car. Yeah. <laughs> Cut that chicken, boy. Thank you guys for the food. I mean, <laughs> realize that Nivea Men's not the best. I'm probably gonna have to get Rick Sana. Upgrade to WD40. Sounded like it wasn't getting any fuel, so we took off the lines at the front. That didn't do anything. We've taken the fuel pump off now. Realized there was no filter on it. Don't judge us for using this dirty as filter, but gotta be what you gotta do, bro. RFB. I mean, RFS. Uh, S. Uh, S. F. O. Uh. Budget. You think that there's something wrong with that loom that Justin perfectly spliced up? So we. 
come to the conclusion that we are going to most probably buy a new SR20D loom and save hassle. We're going to just try to play around with some wires that we think may be the problem. See if that works. If not, just going to get a new loom.